Hi everyone! It's been a few days since um, uh, I went golfing. Uh, <laughs> I needed like another full day to just recover because it was very very tiring. Um, I don't think I really pushed myself because I did take a few holes off. I was just in the car waiting and just chilling. Because I didn't want to really, you know, overdo it. It was so fun. I am so glad I went. And I am planning to go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, like, kind of, like, fit in, like, two more rounds uh, before. <laughs> it was just so fun. Like, I love golf. It just takes your mind off of everything. It was just really nice. Anyways, I am on my way to get some Burger King. I am filming mukbang today, so originally wanted to film the black bean noodle instant black bean instant noodle but i am not in the mood for noodles or anything like hot i want some burgers and some coke and some fries and onion rings so um yeah it's 78 degrees right now it's so insane it's been so hot uh, not fun not fun being pregnant and super hot weather sweaty swollen everywhere it sucks but hopefully Burger King will make it up. <laughs> Hello everyone. Just editing my video. Watching Naruto. <sighs> I'm sleeping in the corner. It's pretty loud in here because of our little wow, it's not focusing. Anyways. <laughs> We, it's a little loud in here because uh, we have that little AC going on. We do have the central air condition, but it's just like not as good. And um, to be honest, we only need this room to be cold at night. So I turn off the AC at night and just have this on. So this room is pretty chill. It's actually really chilly. Um, for this guy. So I wanted, I wanted to have a not good sleep so also i my body is kind of like it produces more heat and not because i'm pregnant i just naturally have a pretty like warm body so i i like sleeping in the cooler area it's funny because mr tong he's not here he's coming home right now um he's he's a, he has a cooler body so he needs like a warmer place to sleep in but two versus one <laughs> so he hates it <laughs> I love Naruto. Good night, yo. Good morning. Hi, everyone. It's been a while since I've vlogged. Um, but if I did end up vlogging, you guys will probably just see me sleeping. I have been feeling very fatigued and just very low energy. Not low energy. I just lost my energy really, really quick. Um, so I will be just half of my day. I'll be just in bed, just you know, like relaxing my feet because you know, just it's getting really swollen. Um, just resting, recovering from nothing, basically. Um, so I feel pretty good today. So I decided to vlog, and I wanted to kind of update you guys more on my pregnancy. Um, I just entered my 32 weeks of pregnancy, and today I have my appointment with my OB. I don't think we're gonna do anything crazy, probably blood pressure and just kind of measure my stomach and hear the heartbeat. I'm, I think that's most of what that I'll do, so I am going alone today. Uh, uh, the, I mean, it was only availability they had and like Tom's working, so I'm like, uh, they're not really, they're probably not even gonna do anything big today, so I'm like, uh, I could just go alone. Um, but anyways, um, the movements, the kicks, punches, stretches, whatever, it is getting bigger. It is, um, I have been feeling them, uh, more, more frequently. It feels bigger. It just, uh, very uncomfortable. But a new symptom or new f movements I have with, like, with, I guess new changes that I have, um, with my body is that I've been feeling the practice contractions also known as Braxton Hicks, right? Did I get that right? Um, yeah, basically it's just a practice contraction your body just preparing to uh, You know deliver the baby soon I guess um, I know that these are not real contractions because I don't want to say painful But it's a little more than uncomfortable. I think in between um, and they are not regular. It's 
very very irregular happens like random times throughout the day it does not have a pattern and i heard that that's like the main difference that the um the practice one the real contractions have are real contractions there are <clears throat> patterns to it um but i don't i feel like a few times a day um it's pretty uncomfortable uh not painful so i am hoping that it, it is just a fake contraction the hospital's not that far it's just the traffic is so bad here there's no direct highway to it um but i mean i like it there so i'm not really planning to change or anything so my veins are getting long oh i'm kind of getting sick of veins so it's called the pgp or pelvic girdle pain um, it's the pain in pubic bone, lower back, hips, or inner thighs, which can make movements be very painful. I have been feeling pain around my left lower back and hip uh, significantly more than anywhere in my body. So I think this is what I'm going through. Um, so it sucks. It's hard to it's not hard but it's definitely uncomfortable to walk makes me waddle a little bit more um, when i try to get out of bed it's more uncomfortable so ah, everything just sucks i just can't wait for this to be over yesterday Tony and i went shopping and then it wasn't we stopped at like three places and i was exhausted i'm like okay let's just go home now so it's it just you know like it it takes like five minutes for me to tire out but it takes a few hours to recover and get back on my feet again so it really does suck um and i have been having kind of a weird appetite last week i had a really difficult time eating anything like i only wanted cold and sweet stuff um i really didn't want to eat actual meal the like korean non-korean or whatever i just didn't want to i didn't want to eat anything but this week, I I already had like three breakfasts. <laughs> I'm very small portion because you know like you're not supposed to eat too much in one sitting. So I've been having small portions. So I had one like pastry in the morning, and then I had two small meals of Korean food like rice and soup and like a little bit of canned tuna. So my appetite is back definitely, um, which I rather have because I don't want to just munch on sweet stuff where there's no nutrition like good nutrition for me so um i'm glad that i feel better this week here's my bump date so if you see closely i do have my linea nigra and then stretch marks here and le less here but more on the left side there's a little bit more here but i just feel like if I end up like losing all the fat, it, you won't be able to see it as well. Um, there we go. From the side, it looks a lot bigger, right? Yeah, like this. Ooh, we. Oh man, it's getting big. So I just came back from my OB. It was good, it was really quick. Uh, I did blood pressure um, and they measured my stomach here the heartbeat of the baby and that was it but <laughs> I guess the better news I mean that's already good news you know it was just like a really smooth visit um, but it definitely feels like I'm at the finish line because uh, I have like I have four more visits left and i scheduled all of them I, well i have one ultrasound like a growth ultrasound uh this uh appointment to make including that i have four visits left and i booked all of them or i made an appointment for all of them and i definitely feels like i'm at the finish line so i'm kind of excited that it's almost over yet kind of like like i know i say that the time is moving very very slow but now that like it feels like i'm at the end that maybe the time did fly by anyways i guess i'll just hold it on my way back some guac tortilla on the side and then i got a steak for 
bowl. The doctor asked me if I have any like contractions or I feel like I'm having one and I told her about the Braxton Hicks and she said that um, you know she said what I said to you guys earlier like, if there's a pattern she'll be more concerned but if it's like out of like ordinary like out of nowhere like random moments then it's just you know it's fine but she said stay hydrated because if you're dehydrated it could also cause it and um, you know Chicago has been really like really funky with weather as usual um, it's a little colder today but last week it was like high 80s 70s so um, she just told me to stay, stay very hydrated uh, but I'm at 33 centimeters I think uh, heartbeat is good and everything looks good my swelling actually feels a lot better I mean, as long as I'm not standing and like pushing myself to stand and walk around too much like I, my, I feel like my swelling is really okay um, so I'm very excited for my Chipotle that's all I gotta say I got her typical steak mmm I'm very excited this is probably going to be a very short video, but I wanted to update you guys how I'm doing, my visits and all that. Um, uh, my next visit is going to be another like a normal, like kind of boring visit, but after that it's going to be ultrasound, which I'm excited for. Like, I want to see how much the baby grew. Uh, the last time I got ultrasound was the really long one where they measure everything. Uh, ever since then I haven't got any ultrasound, so... Chipotle, I'm so excited. Um, gonna do another montage of me <laughs> just enjoying my meal, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a very short vlog. But like I said, I just want to say hi that I'm still here. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys.